Have you heard the rumors about Conquest? Rumors of the First Order? Well, no. No, not that. Your rumors are breaking my heart! Oh. Okay, well, rumors lead to fear. No, 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 everybody, just, it, it, the rumor is that if you use the right data disks, your supports can become really, really good in conquest and in easy, normal, or hard conquest and, and really help you, you know, do really well. I think you overestimate our chances. Okay, guys, I, I'm just, I'm going to try it out, this conquest, and share it with everybody. So for this conquest, I am all the support. And I am Iron Man. Oh, come on. Hello there, everybody. It's Star Wars Dad, and as we just discussed, we're going to be looking at using your supports in Conquest. And if you are like me, I've never really gone that route. I've always just kind of focused on my GLs, on my main account, and on the secondary account, just use my KRU team until I got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and now I just use, I just really abuse Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in in uh, in conquest, but I, I've I've been told by my buddy Broda that he was using Hux, a, a relic Hux, with some of the the data discs we, we we're going to look at here in a minute, and doing like 400k damage on on a single shot, and it just makes me wonder: can I really dial in on these on these supports? And, and make them work in Conquest. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a look here. Here's my main account. I've got pretty much every support unlocked. I wanna look at all the characters that are supports for you because you've got some of these in your roster. It's gonna make sense for you that you can look at, hey, I've got that person leveled up, I don't. And I especially looking here um, at folks that are not doing maybe hard Conquest yet or, or maybe just starting to enter hard Conquest because you don't have a super, you know, you have a deep roster but not like a super, super, you got every single support in the game. So you're gonna have to pick and choose which supports you use. So let's go over and, and, and take a look at all these supports and I'm gonna jump over, we'll look at the data discs later and I'll talk about what I'm going to do on my normal account because I think a lot of you guys are coming in in here uh, on normal not getting a lot of guidance maybe we can do some really cool stuff on the, the normal accounts with our support so let's take a look first you can see here all the support some of the ones that really stick out initially um, would be would be a guy like Piet who you could put in a leader position and it could make him even better uh, Padme as a support you know you if you're gonna give her extra health offense protection all sorts of stuff she gets your stacks of courage you know you could really see her doing some dangerous things actually uh, you know you I've seen her one shot some some pretty big stuff so I'm looking forward to trying that out Palpatine another great one if, if we scroll down a little bit more I look at Tarkin and Thrawn and think about them as a, as a lead kind of they overlap with Palpatine a little bit we'll have to figure that out some shock T in a lead man shock T with clones but then but then if we look at clones we can also look at Rex if you have Rex in the lead and you've got him with those those data discs that that really help support look at those bad batch in there Treya a lot of you guys have Treya Grandmaster Yoda we look at um, Veers, Phasma could be a lot of fun. Where is my Hux? There's Hux right there. So these are just some of the characters in support. Bastila Sean, you know, Light Side Bastila and Dark Side Bastila are both supports. And if you can see them with a bunch of extra health and protection, doing some really dangerous things. It, imagine Light Side Bastila Sean with extra health, protection, damage. I, it just it just could be a real bonanza for some of us. Harrison Dula. Maybe this makes your Phoenix that much. I don't know. I, I, I doubt it. But, you know, yeah, by the way, yeah, everybody knows I've got my Phoenix all relic and zated and on this account for whatever reason, but I did it. So anyway, guys, I think it's really worth looking at your the supports in your roster to see what you can do. Now let's pull up the data discs I'm talking about, and I'm going to be experimenting with these in this next conquest. So there at the top is the main one. The allied healers and supports gain offense equal to 54% of their max health. So if you get a big health uh, support, think of, of Padme. Let me let me take a look at Padme's health here. I, well, I, I don't have that up, but you know, if you get, you know, Padme's giving everybody extra health. So if you think of her on that team leading a, a, a Galactic Republic team, you know, what if she's leading a team of Galactic Republic supports with Rex and, and Echo in there? Just some really cool stuff you could do. So allied healers and sports, and you can stack that data disc too. I mean, I could, you could literally have like six of those maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm really going to do some experimenting this conquest and share it with you guys as I go. Uh, look at the sec with their allied leader in the uter allied unit in the leader slot game 66% max health, 53% max protection, 40% offense and 20% speed. When we think about that, we you know, 
just adding all of that health, protection, offense, and speed. And I was talking about something like, like Bass to uh, with extra health and protection on there, and her and her bonus protection that's going to be based on uh, on the max protection. You know, it's, it's just going to be. I think it's based on it. Let's let's pull up Bass to Lashawn here for a second and take a look at her because I know a lot of you guys out there are going to have Bass to um, easy, normal, and hard quest. You're going to have Bass out there, and I want to look at. Um, Jedi allies gain 15% turn meter and protection up of 200%. So if you increase her max protection by uh, 53% and then get her protection up of 200%, guys, I, you might never kill her. You know, I, I could see having two of these and then three of the allied healers and supports in there with Bass and Lashawn and just watch her wreck the world. I, I, this is it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to experiment with it. And then there's the one at the bottom here. Um, it's just your classic, and I'm blocking a little bit, but it's just your classic uh, all allied units gain 33% offense and 27% critical damage. So I'll be doing some mixing and matching with these with these data discs and, and maybe some others. We'll, we'll see if I discover something else that really makes sense with the team as well. You know, in the past, I've really I've, I've liked to go for those thermal detonators. They're a lot of fun. Unfortunately, when you get too much of them on your opponent, you know, your game can lag for up to 10 seconds. You're just sitting there waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden it finally plays again. And that could be a real detriment. You might run out of time on your battle, and just it's just kind of annoying. Even though it's even though it's a fun mechanic, it's kind of annoying for the for how the gameplay comes out of it. So I'm really gonna try that. Let me do one one more thing here. I'm gonna jump over to my my uh, free to play account, which is gonna be a normal conquest, and take a look at the supports over there. All right, here we are. This is my this is my 2.7 million free to play account. Well, I'll be playing normal conquest. Let's sort out these supports. I know that I've got Hux in there. I know I've got Padme, but let's see who I'm going to be able to use. Um, I've got I got Padme Gear 12. I could Relic her if needed. I've kind of been holding off on that as I as I move toward Gas. I want to make sure I get the right relics in there. Uh, Shock T, but. With her gear level only being gear 8, and I'm not ready for gear 9 yet, I don't know that she's going to be a, a, a lot of use in that spot. Although, if I give her a bunch of extra you know, health and protection, maybe, maybe. My three main ones here, you can see, well, four actually. Uh, well, I think I'm looking at Padme, Palpatine, Hux, Phasma, uh, Geo Brood Alpha. That could be really interesting because those Geos can really come through, even though the rest of my Geos aren't all that exciting. If we scroll down here, you know, we're looking at gear 10 gear 8 gear 9 um let's just go and sort the geos so you can see them it, it's even with that brute alpha at gear 12 and if i get all those bonuses in for him uh you know and poggle is a support the uh, and you know so it, there's some real possibilities for them too i'm, I'm I definitely got to play and see what kind of benefits i can get you know that first that first phase of conquest is is all gear 12 units so that might be where that team would work the best but uh and then i look at like grandmaster yoda asajj i mean asajj with a lot of extra stuff i don't know it's going to be really interesting so what when i'm going to do this conquest i'm going to try it out for you guys i'm going to bring you some updates i don't i'm not going to publish the whole thing front to back unless you think it's a good idea if you want me to publish like phase one with supports phase two with supports phase three i, I can do that i can kind of show the whole thing it's going to be difficult for me not to be using my supreme leader kylo ren so i'm really have to kind of maybe pick spots for him maybe just because i'm going to have to use him just to get through the conquest he can solo teams all the way through you know the first like three phases for sure maybe even farther than that so i i I'll probably have to use, but but if I can bring you guys some examples of supports in Conquest, I think that might be able to really help you out. We can do it together, do some, do some experimenting. Show me in the comments what you've done in the past, what you plan on doing this time. Guys, let's jump into this Conquest that's coming up. Let's use our supports to the, uh, to the utmost, find some really good data disks that we can use with them. And of course, let's always remember, Nooch too good.